Hello guys and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to this Skoda dealership, uh, link will be in the description and in today's video I'm going to show you all the details of the new fourth generation of the Octavia. So as you can see we have the combi version, so estate which came before the sedan on the market, that's a bit unusual and uh, here we have completely new key glass black looks very nice and when i open it you see the nice illumination of the front lights and let's start with the design so this car is very very elegant as you can see we have the we can call them connected now uh, front lights and uh, you may remember the predecessor had the split daylight design some people didn't like it i quite like it actually uh, but a lot of you know people said that they don't like it and now Škoda decided to play it safe with this very nice uh, one way you know connected uh, headlamps and uh, they come in LED technology as standard so that's really good and then this is the optional matrix LED uh, with very nice illumination data running here and also the main lights over there you also have the option of the LED fog lights which are here now the front mask is massive uh, it has these vertical fins and goes all the way to the light so you can see here it does look very muscular and also very elegant in my opinion this is more elegant than the predecessor and this now looks a bit more like superb i think which is actually really good because superb is the class above this car so tell me in the comments what do you think about it uh, car seats on the MQB platform, same platform as Golf. Uh, wheels, these are the optional 18 inch wheels, uh, but you have the 16 and 17 depending on the trim. So, this is the style package, which is the top trim right now. And uh, I think in style you have 17 inch as standard, and these are the optional. In terms of dimensions, not much has changed, but you have a huge wheelbase I think it's 50 millimeters more than the predecessor so uh, there will be plenty of space inside which I'll show you later on and uh, let me show you the back of the car this car also has this chrome line so you have this in chrome and here is the back of the car I think it looks very very elegant for me this is my favorite part of the car because just look at the tail as look at this L shape looking very very nice and elegant and dominant look really from behind one of the best looking estates on the market uh, i have this key here so look at the dynamic indicators so so cool so really really nice then you also have the skoda lettering look at this so no more badge this is a new trend and i like it so skoda instead of a lettering Tell me in the comments what do you think about that this car has really decent bumper here no fake exhaust on the new octavia you do have an exhaust somewhere here i believe wait yes so here it is but it's hidden and it's better than that it's hidden than to have the fake one that's at least my opinion uh, so yeah tell me in the comments what do you think about the design i personally love it i uh, really think they did a good job and now let's open the trunk I mean, I'm sure you can, I mean, guess that this is huge. Look at this, 640 liters of space. Insane amount of space. That is 30 liters more than before. You also have this special plastic parts uh, so that you can fit some smaller things here so they don't go all the way in the trunk. You have also this convenient. And then with the press of this button, you can fold the seats. Seats fold 4060. You also have a ski box uh, then you also have this cool detail so you can remove this sorry so you can put this and then uh, you can have some shopping bags or something like that on these hooks and also look at this when you press this just once press twice and then you can move it back like this so really really practical car you can also have the dual floor and uh, this one has also the spare tire so huge amount of space i'll show you the view on the interior looks very nice uh, you also have this hook 
so it's easier to close the trunk once again look at the back and uh, well yeah I think it's time to enter the car and uh, I'll show you the details of the interior all right so there you have it we must turn off okay so the beeping sound stopped so materials are actually very solid you have this aluminium part here I love the way they integrated the door handle uh, to this aluminium trim here also one cool feature is that you have an umbrella here now we don't have it here probably because a lot of people go through the dealership and then uh, maybe someone would stall it I don't know but uh, yeah usually you can have an umbrella here cool feature Skoda simply clever feature also this is one element that I love but I've heard different comments about this tell me in the comments what do you think about it there's a speaker integrated I think here door pockets very good they also have carpets I don't know if you can see it right now it's a bit dark uh, but yeah you also have the Skoda project 8 on underneath the door and I don't know if you can see it right now it's uh, the daytime uh, light so you can see that good but yeah and this is the main thing so the completely new two-spoke steering wheel that's what do you think about this I first saw it at uh, photos and I didn't like it but then at the Vienna car show when I first saw the car it really really amazed me because really looks very elegant it's easy uh, to hold it and use it and I think uh, that's a big plus from Skoda also you have the digital cockpit as standard on all Octavia models so that's cool they have the classic buttons here they didn't go for the digital panel like on the new Golf and Leon cloth materials and uh, I will now enter the car we have this because of the safety measures right now because of the whole current situation so let's jump inside and I will show you all the details so the button for the start is here And now you have this digital cockpit with different views. Uh, you also have the main screen here. The, so the main screen is 8 inch standard and then this one is 10 inch which is optional. Uh, I think you should go for this one because uh, it you know looks much better inside when you have a big screen and uh, yeah well overall I think this looks very elegant as I said two spoke steering wheel then you have this cloth material i don't know i think it looks very good and it will be easy to maintain you also have very soft materials in here and uh, i love this aluminium sort of like aluminium uh, part here and this can also be gloss black if you want then you have the slider here and slider is for the sound now you don't have the slider for the ac uh, in the golf and leon you have a slider where you have the AC controls and then you also have uh, the slider for the volume but here it's only for volume then you also on this panel you have this on and off button for the main screen and this is basically the infotainment system it is new it is nice it takes some time you know to get used to it I will tell you that because you have a lot of options so look at this so you have the manuals users assist systems for example if I press this then uh, you have a bunch of systems that you can uh, you know adjust whether you want them to be on and off or how you want them to work then moving on to the list of the things you have this is here then let's go back so those are the assist systems and you have settings we're not gonna go there radio and media you can pair your phone with the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay uh, also of course you have the classic radio media you can have uh, Bluetooth connection and you also have USB-C ports but I'm not huge fan of USB-C because they are not that useful in my opinion for me at least but yeah moving on vehicle so bunch of vehicle status and uh, things that you need to know about your car and about your situation so it's the service time for example it tells you when you need to go to change the oil or things like that 
then also of course you have the tire pressure which is mandatory for all the vehicles these days what else can i show you so you have also some data for your driving fuel consumption average speed and so on long term since refuel and since the start as you can see here i love this animation so mirrors and then you adjust the mirrors and wipers and then you can go comfort light come home function when the lights stay until you enter your home uh, and then i accidentally pressed this so let's go back vehicle uh, so yeah you have a bunch of features here and also in the interior in terms of the instrument cluster and interior lightning uh, we will put it to the maximum let's go back to the main menu you can adjust the sound the bass uh, and everything that you need well, i mean to focus also so whatever you want i think uh, you can also go for the canton that's optional sound system this is the bass one uh, so yeah volume as i said slider for the volume is here but you can also uh, I believe it's here also the second function for the volume so probably a lot of people will use this one while they're driving moving on shop you can also shop just like on the mobile phones these days you can shop for some extra features uh, for the car but I'm not gonna go there now because it needs to load the online shop and everything telephone so it is possible to pair it uh, as I said Apple CarPlay Android Auto and now we have the background lightning and uh, we can change it as you can see as I'm changing it this also changes so you have you can have the different views available in front of the driver let me just press this so different views and then also of course when you change this uh, the views on you see this so I'm changing this and then we are also changing the theme on the main screen okay so now we have also the ambient lights here and let me change the background color now for you so that you can see So really cool it will look even better you know during the night but uh, yeah even now on the daylight you can see them a little and also here i don't know if you can see it so yeah cool cool feature the thing you will probably want to know let's now go to the navigation turn on the map uh, the thing you will want to of course probably know next to all these features that are available and as you can see the map is pretty pretty responsive looks nice uh, let's zoom in and i'm wearing these gloves because of the safety reasons and it will be even easier if i didn't have them so yeah the thing you will probably want to know is how do you change the ac well the thing is you always have the ac controls here so you can always go here select this ac off clima but i mean not the button the section and then here you have the option of the air blower you also have the option of the smart ac which does some things for you automatically for example warm hands cool my feet fresh air warm my feet uh, basically the car does it for you but here is the classic cluster where you uh, you know control everything you can turn it off and uh, you also have the rear ac controls here clima off this is how you turn it off and now you don't even have this screen but we will turn it back on and this is where you will change the temperature on the screen and uh, second so this is the first uh, option the second option for example if you are on the main menu and you are driving you want to change it you just press this clima button as you can see and then back you are in this menu now i must say i would still prefer to have the regular switches for the ac uh, but it is what it is uh, that's the new trend among all manufacturers and i don't know if it's good uh, tell me in the comments what do you think about it but i think it would be better if we had the classic switches 
and if I press this button here then you have this like a uh, screensaver uh, you can have the digital clock you can have this classic Škoda clock you can have this very interesting clock look at this with the seconds uh, going around and then you can also have this one probably my favorite one uh, looks kind of cool and uh, yeah those three those four actually options are available when you uh, have this when you have this screen on like a screen saver but let's go back to the menu as i said a lot of options you will need some time to get used to it but once you do it will be really easy to you know go through all these functions that you have so tell me in the comments what do you think about that you also have some different uh, shortcuts here uh, so the settings uh, this is the setting for the start stop and tire pressure then you will have the driving mode if you have the dcc chassis with adaptive tempers this is probably i think the heating of the seats and then here you have the klima lock unlock hazard lights lights are over there air vents uh, you control them this uh, then here is where you can wirelessly charge your phone i think this car doesn't have it as standard so that's an option uh, you need to pick if you want that two usb-c ports uh, then here you have the adaptive cup holders which is very nice this car has the manual gearbox i would prefer the dsg one because it has a very nice gear lever with the shift by wire technology which is really really cool now here you have the electronic parking brake the auto hold and then this is the storage space but there's no power outlet here or usb so you can only put things here and let's see the glove box as expected it's big and also it has the carpet so that's kind of cool once again this integrated door handles and uh, let me show you this so the led lights they do look very cool and uh, you also have the slider here uh, for the panoramic roof look at this so this is really cool you do it with the slider i will show you right now so instead of a button you have a slider much more much more cool option i think but is it necessary it's not but it is kind of cool look at this so pretty nice let's see this this is also cool because you have the led light in here then this one also has it and uh, well yeah i think this is it for the interior i will show you the different views once again on the steering wheel which are available on the digital dashboard you control them here and you can also control different settings on each of these screen so as you can see you can have a compass or road guidance pictures everything you need and then let's go to the different menu this is where you have the navigation you can change those two on the edges here is where you will have the travel assist systems and this is the classic cluster with with the classic switches rev counter and the speedometer with the speed here in the middle and you can also have different things in the middle so yeah i think they did a great job with this i feel comfortable here and now let's check out how much space i have at the back all right so let's see the space at the back as i said skoda is really known for being very very spacious so this is really i mean i have no words for this it's really great so you do have this storage space here you can also put your mobile phone in this small pocket here then materials are also solid not as good as on the front but still very nice you have also carpets in the door pockets here and uh, well yeah i think now you can see how much space i have wait a second okay so i'm wearing my mask obviously so look at the amount of space i have for my head and let's see if we can turn this on yes we can uh, okay so i have really a lot of space for my head 
and also for my knees I mean just look at this and have in mind that I'm 1 meter 87 so this is really good great job by Skoda and also this car has the panoramic roof so if you don't go for the panoramic roof you get even more space you can also get this with the extenders here as an extra and then you can even sleep here so your head doesn't go left or right when you sleep and this is the view you have on the front so uh, people at the back have the AC controls here and also I think optionally you can have the USB-C ports here at the back and also you can have the USB-C here but this car doesn't have it so it's cool because then you can you know charge your dash cam or something like that here so for practicality definitely 10 out of 10 okay so we saw the exterior and interior let's see the engines that are available for this car So unlike Golf, this has the hydraulic struts, which means you don't need the holder for the engine. Now there are a bunch of options available for this car. So petrol engines include 1 liter TSI, and then you have this 1.5 liter TSI producing 150 horsepower. You also have a 2 liter TSI with 190. Uh, also you can have the diesel of course diesel is 2 liter tdi and then you have it with 115 and 150 horsepower you can also go for the plug-in hybrid which combines 1.4 liter tsi with electric motor so total output i think 204 horsepower you also have a cng version and also important to mention that there are mild hybrid versions also available uh, which means you have the petrol engine and the small electric motor so yeah really really nice a uh, lot of options for the buyers i love that uh, that's always with skoda and uh, let me show you here so this is the 1.5 liter tsi producing 150 horsepower petrol version with a six-speed manual gearbox you can also have it with the dsg so automatic transmission and also stronger versions do have the option of uh, all-wheel drive so base price of this model with this trim it's really really good i think it's one of the best values for money that you can get on the car market right now and uh, tell me in the comments what do you think about it tell me how do you like the design of this estate i think it is very very elegant and good looking and uh, personally one of the best estates on the market right now really so yeah thank you very much for watching also many thanks to this dealership so Porsche Interauto dealership uh, and uh, I will put their link in the description if you are interested in this car and uh, well yeah that's about it thank you very much for watching do subscribe to the channel plenty of more videos coming and see you on the next one bye bye